Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2012 4Runner SR5. Now the most notable features on the SR5 is its heated front seats, its parking sensors, as well as its backup camera. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2012 4Runner SR5. Let's get started. To start, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this 2012 SR5. One of them being is your fog lamps as well as your daytime running lights. And if I just take a closer look at the hood here, you're going to see uh, 3M on the front of the hood. So this is going to help protect against rock chips just so that it doesn't dent into the paint. And then you also have your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Over on the side, you have your heated mirrors as well as folding in as well as folding out. So if you're ever uh, parking in a tight parking spot, then at least you know that your mirrors can be folded inwards as well as out, just in case somebody uh, does accidentally clip you. Now you also have some protection just on your mirrors here as well from rock chips as well. You have running boards and then a roof rack. And the color we're taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so that you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your black leather interior seat surfaces as well as your power driver seat with lumbar support. Over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls as well as your parking sensors on and off. You have your window wiper de-icer and then over here on the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls for both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on your steering wheel are your volume control, scroll function, mode select, you have your Bluetooth, and then you also have your voice recognition with your cruise control. And just to give you an idea of what the kilometers are currently at, I'm just going to close in on the front driver's side dash. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. Now if you take a look at the very top, you're going to see your range as well as a couple of other additional options. You have your exterior temperature gauge, you have your compass, and then you also have your uh, digital clock. Now this is your AM FM CD player located down below. So uh, if you take a look just underneath here now, you're going to see your temperature control settings with uh, your fan speed, temperature control, and then underneath that, just inside here, you're going to see your auxiliary port and your power outlet. Matted to a five speed automatic transmission. You also have your four by four selector. And then just behind that, you're gonna see your power uh, rear window open and closed, as well as your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. And located at the very top, you're gonna see your auto dimming rear view mirror. And a couple of other options you'll see up here is your integrated garage door opener. You also have your traction control on and off, your A track, as well as your downhill assist control. And then you're open and closed and tilt up and down for your power moonroof, just in case you do want to have a bit of a breeze flowing through here. And then your sunglass case holder, just in case it does get quite bright outside and you do need some relief from the sun. However, if you do forget your sunglasses, you do have some visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across it. And then just underneath, on your left hand side, you'll find your backup camera. Rear hatch release will be located just underneath your forerunner emblem. And I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so that you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now if we just take a look over on your right hand side, you're going to find a power outlet so your third row passengers can actually plug in their digital devices. Now with your third row passengers, it's split 50-50 um, seating. So depending on what your needs are for, you can have one of them up or both of them up. So to actually fold them up, all you have to do is just pull on this piece here and then pull it up. Headrests are just located right behind you there. And then once the headrests are actually placed up, if you do need to actually fold it back down into the floor, all you have to do is just pull on this piece here, fold the headrest down, and then by pulling on this piece, it'll fold it back into the floor for you. Now, one of the nice things about this is, as you can see, you gotta make sure headrest is actually pushed back there just so it stays firmly in its place and it folds nicely back down. One of the things I like with this 4Runner as well is that um, if you do need to throw a couple of your things into the back seat here, you can actually fold down that uh, power rear window just by using your key, just by placing it inside here. So by turning it to the left, it'll actually roll it down. Turn it to the right, it'll actually roll it back down and it'll lock all the doors for you just before you leave. 
One of the things I like with the Forerunner is that um, if you go out to the lake or you go out uh, camping a lot, then you have a lot of different uh, options available for you for roughing it with the Forerunner. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions about this 2012 Forerunner, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comments section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.